If you're looking to make solar simple, give Ron Dominico with AD Energy a call. All day energy made simple. Solar solutions with zero down, options to lease or finance, and roofs and trees are no issue. Call Ron Dominico at 609-226-2802 and tell him you saw him on the Sports Box. Well, hello again and welcome to the show that just like yoga pants, it's smooth to the touch. This is the Sports Box. The only thing that matters, heads up! It's right here. I am Mike Galletta, a.k.a. Hamilton Mike, along with my partner Brian, the Ranger of Tar here. There's something else for you, because you gave me the look. Anyway, Brian, how are you? You need anger management I, so well, bad. I've been saying that since we started Is this that show, in your sports box contract, like part of your benefits package? No, anger it's not in there. No. Well, why? It'd be no fun, then. You should negotiate that. Well, I should, but yeah, it's a, it's a long-term deal. Anyway, today we are going to talk women's ice hockey. That's right, I said women's ice hockey because, Brian, there is a little bit of a controversy. At the end of the month, they start the women's championships, and USA women's team has a little bit of beef. Yeah, so and this has been going on for a couple of weeks now, but it's getting very close to, I guess, that, that cutoff date. So USA Women's Hockey uh, held a conference call uh, Thursday night, uh, voted to decline a contract counter from USA Hockey, and it appears that the defending championship team is, is ready to not play in the world championships this year. And it's pretty much, you know, as most uh, squabbles are in life, Mike, it's over money. Um, what a shock. Yeah. What a surprise. Uh, you, the women's team is fighting for, uh, you know, some sort of a salary for, for them to play, um, more, more support from USA Hockey financially. Um, you know, they, they claim that obviously, you know, the, the, the men get more money, the men get this, the men get that. And, you know, um, to, to, to me, I don't think this is at all a gender issue. Absolutely not. We it's, talked it's, about this before yes, the show. It's yes. absolutely not a gender issue. In, in, my, in my opinion, uh, as the business mind that I am, I think in any sort of... Um, any sort of entertainment, which really at the end of the day, sports is entertainment. And I think we need to realize more and more that it is a business. It's there to make money. You know, it's there to sell advertising. We talk about that with other sports as well. You really can only receive payment based on what that sport generates. And, you know, again, while I fully understand and, and, and no, I've watched USA Women's Hockey in my day. I'm a hockey fan. Yeah, I am um, too. Yeah. But I am few and far between. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's not a lot of general interest in women's ice hockey in America. There's barely interest in men's ice hockey in America compared to the other three sports. So, I agree. I agree. You know, again, you, you take, you know, you look at what the, the men get paid in, in the Olympics, so on and so forth, and, and the women saying, well, we're world-class athletes too, we want to make more money. Yeah. I don't begrudge that. Nope. But there's got to be money coming in, Mike. I, I agree. And, and, and like Brian said, there's no interest for women's ice hockey. It's just the analogy I draw from the NBA and you want to talk about the NFL. You want to talk about WNBA, and people out there want to say, oh, well, it's a good product. It's been around for a long period of time. It's been around for a long period of time because they have struggled. And the NBA is pumping money into the WNBA to keep them afloat because they like the option of having both sports. Are the WNBA outdrawing the men? No, absolutely not. And again, it's not a gender thing, but it's just not a draw to watch women's basketball over men's basketball. It's been around a lot longer. And you talk about the NFL. Well, there's also the lingerie league. Is anybody watching the lingerie league? No. It's wow. women's football, but it's not the same. Again, these are world-class athletes. I don't begrudge women for doing it. They're doing a dream. They're growing up. They play ice hockey. We're hockey guys. I like watching it. It's great. But to say you're not going to play women's ice hockey because of money issues, because they're not getting paid as much as the men, I, I think it's, well, it's here's, disgusting. What they're experience. asking for is basically enough to make it a full-time job. And the problem that I have with that is I don't think that you generate enough interest no. year-round to do that. You won't get enough sponsors. No. You won't do anything. And there no. is there is a National Women's Hockey League, which has been around for a couple of years. Yep. Now. They're doing okay. They only got four teams, though, uh, in, in the Northeast of the United States. And, and how many people do you want to pull that even know that there's a league? It, again, it's it's not it, it's, it's not overly followed, but it's, it's just I'm, I'm taking nothing away from the skill these women have. Trust me, they're they're phenomenally talented. Correct. But like any sort of entertainment, you're going to be compensated based on the money that you generate. The reason that players make so much, um, you know, in the NBA and the NFL and Major Baseball and the NHL is because of the advertising which is sold around their game, which creates money. You talk yep. about the billion dollars a year that Directv pays the NFL for NFL Sunday ticket. I mean, they're printing money. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Right. You have to have money generated. You could be right. the best actor in the world, but if nobody's going to come see your movies, you're not going to make anything. Exactly. It's entertainment at the end of the day. I'm sure there are plenty of world-class um, archers, 
world class badminton players, yep. world class. I mean, you name it. But people aren't beating down the cable people. Yes, watch it's the sports. And again, it takes nothing away from their ability. No, world class to the nth degree. Absolutely but not. there has to be interest in it to watch it. And I think that that's some of the issue here. And I know that the argument's been made that you know USA Hockey again they, they put more money into the men's sport. They also generate money from the men's sport. Everything, right. everything in life is a business. There's Sponsorships. Be, there's, yes, right. You get all payment. The owners pay. I don't see a lot of owners out there wanting to own a women's ice hockey team because, like you said, they're, the money you're going to put out for this and try to ramp it up to get people interested in it, it's not something that people are dying to watch. Right. It, it's just like the major indoor lacrosse league. That's been around sure. for twenty something years. Do you see people wanting to die for on cable to watch? No, because there's not a big interest in that kind of that kind of a sport. It's all based on what you make. And again, Correct. and the reason I say that's definitely not a gender thing is because I mean, look at just look at pro sports at all. You know, pick any team that you want to in any sport, and I'm going to be biased and pick the New York Rangers for obvious reasons. No, the players of the New York Rangers do not get the same amount of money. They get a negotiated contract based on their importance to the team, their skill level, and their production, and what the fans want to see. Correct. So Henrik Lundqvist makes eight and a half million dollars a year, slightly more and a lot more than the backup goaltender. The guy, you know, Rick Nash makes a lot more money than Mika Zibanejad because Rick Nash is a superstar. At least he was when he signed his contract. So it's it's not. There's no. The idea that this is somehow about equality in sports, there's never going to be equality in sports. And I don't mean gender equality in sports. No. I mean equality, period, in sports. Y you because saw, play yeah. yes, players make different amounts of money based on their skill level. You, say, you saw Manor Rium, if you're a hockey yes. fan, a while ago. She tried to play for the Lightning, and I applaud her for it. She yes, tried it out. But it's just not the same. It's not the same when you have a woman as a goaltender and you have the men's ice hockey league. I don't know, man, it sounds sexist with that, but no, it's just not, they're just not built for different sports that men's are playing. That's what it comes down to. And again, I don't want to sound sexist with it. It's just no, no, there's no draw for women's ice hockey. And I think they can't, they went about it wrong. For them to say that they're going to boycott because they want more money, okay, well, you're, the other, you're going to say, okay, then don't play. Because it probably wouldn't hurt, it probably wouldn't kill them to, to have them fold anyway. Did he want to keep it going? Absolutely. For purists like me and you, I'd like to see USA do something. Sure. It's just national sport, you know, the, any, the, the women and stuff. Anything America wins that I'm supporting. Absolutely. I don't, care what, I don't care what it is. I mean, we all watch the Olympics every right. couple of years. I mean, sports that we don't couldn't care less about, hey, you're still going to fly your flag. I haven't watched one pitch of the World Championships, but the, the oh, U.S. Yeah. team is doing well. So, okay, go USA. But in the same sense, like I said, they're going about it wrong. It's not like you're saying to the NHL, all the teams, hey, look, we're not going to play anymore. You also give us more money. No, they're playing a women's ice hockey team who doesn't draw as much as people think they do at all. I, I think it's preposterous. I really, really, I think it's a shame. I think it's a real shame. And, and you know, the, the argument is made. Well, you know, they just. They, and the truth is that they just don't draw. But part of that's also because, again, you know, for whatever, for better or for worse, I mean, the professional men's league has been around since the early 1900s. In Correct. Some cases. I mean, you, you you look at the teams in the northeast of the United States and the major cities. They draw because they've had a fan base there for decades, generations. Mm -hmm. Fans that leave the northeast. Why do you always think that Tampa Bay Rays games when they play the Yankees are sold out, and all you can hear are Yankee fans cheering? For the Rays, because they're New Yorkers transplanted down there. Right. These are these go back generations. It's in. It's think about your the team that you love. It's in your blood. There just hasn't been enough women's sports long enough to really generate that. And right. the problem is to, to have the expectation of that. I think is extremely short sighted. Yep. And if it could have all started too by the U.S., you look at the the numbers that they're getting. They're getting paid about a thousand dollars a month to play. That's that's the roundabout figure. Now Canada, they're paying nine hundred to fifteen hundred. Two different countries, two different entities. You're talking about Canada, which is an ice hockey, you know, going nuts for ice hockey, kind of like America goes for football. So that, in the same sense, is not on the same page. So that's why I think it's preposterous. The U.S. says, no, we're not going to play unless we get more money. They start at the end of the month. I, I yes, yeah, they're, they're, sched they're scheduled to play Canada in the opener yeah. on March 31st, and I think the way things are going right now, I think USA Hockey is going to try to find re replacement players. And you know what's unfortunate? It it's really unfortunate because, you know, Girls that have busted their butt to get yeah, there. Yeah, no, I mean, I, because of this. being able to be a world class athlete is, is, is a sure. fleeting thing in your life. You only have so many years that you can do it. And yep. unfortunately, there's going to be you know girls here that don't get a chance uh, to play um, and, and to show off their great skills. Yep. That, and you know, again, is it's unfortunate that they make what they make, but I think what they make is generated by what they bring in, and that's unfortunate. That's just reality, yep. and, and you can't really fight that too much. Um, again, I'm I am not a belief that this is a gender thing. It's nope. just a bottom line business thing, and. Yep. 
unfortunately, it, it is what it is. I Listen, it would be great if, if women's hockey could take off and there would be other things to watch because, trust me, the Rangers pissed me off enough. I'll find a New York women's team to get me mad as well, but which they do exist, actually, in New York, the Riveters. Yep. But the point is, again, it's, it's all based on what you bring in, and unfortunately... They don't bring that much. I think the best comparison is the WNBA. If people want to say that they're doing well, okay, they are because the NBA is pumping money into them and they have money. But in any sense, that's our opinion, and you know what? I'm sticking to it. So that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching our update on the women's U.S. ice hockey team. Controversy. Uh, remember, we always have good stuff coming against us on social media if you need to. Absolutely. This is a wonderful graphic in front of you. Thanks to my wonderful wife. Thank you very much. You can see where you can find us all over social media, where we really are all over social media. You can find us on Twitter at Sportsbox Show. You can find us on Facebook at Sportsbox Show. And, of course, the YouTube channel right here. Where you can subscribe to all of our fresh content. But while you're here, take a look at today's sponsor. This episode of the Sports Box is brought to you by Mike Up Entertainment and DJ Mike Villardi. For all of your event planning needs, make sure you contact Mike at 609-864-5925 and tell him that you saw him on the Sports Box. There you go. Make sure you give Mike a call. Absolutely. And you know what? We always have good content. you got to check us out on Twitter. I always get stuff out to you. Too. As soon as I get some updates, I get it out there for you. Um, our Facebook, like Brian said, you, you got to get on the ship. If you're not on YouTube, subscribe by now. What the hell are you waiting for? Get get over to YouTube, click the button. It'll be right next to Brian's head. You'll love it. You'll have a good time with it, okay? But that's all the time we have. Again, keep an eye out for us. We always have good stuff coming at the Sports Box. We always want to tell you that the only opinion that matters. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's right here. Wow. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's what I like. It. Yeah, you, you, now, you knew that was happening. See? One, two, three. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe.